You know, when I was a little small child, parents didn't have loads of money to spend on... F Remember, there was no such thing as designer clothing back then for us, like working class kids, right? But you spent five pounds on a pair of shoes, you know, that was about the limit you were going to go. Not like today where people spend hundreds of pounds on a pair of Nike trainers, you know. That that world didn't exist at that point. So my parents would just buy me, you know, give me money and say go to the shop and buy some clothes. I wouldn't go to the normal shop and buy a pair of corduroy trousers. I'd go to the army shop and buy a pair of army trousers because they were cheaper and I'd have money left over to go and spend on something else and they were hard working and you know they could wear them all the time okay that sounds like a practical use it was only practicality it wasn't because i was a <laughs> you know a militarist and i wanted to wear like gestapo or something it was out of necessity that i bought this stuff right. you know well i mean i'm the person who's like my father's an officer and i'm against like militarism but i think the only good thing in uh, what they have in army is sometimes like the clothes that's the only good thing about it yeah the clothes don't kill you you know yeah exactly <laughs> but then there comes like Russell Brand with a Hugo Boss joke. <laughs> but, but, but it's true. When I see people wearing Hugo Boss, I think, well, you know, do they really know what the history is behind right. this design? <laughs>